hello welcome for yoga today let's grab a strap blocks and or um, doesn't have to be a regular yoga strap if you don't have that i like to use an infinity scarf uh, this one's fleece it's very comfortable and really nice for, as for the grip of your hands so if you do have any issues with your grip i suggest finding something that's a little bit thicker and that will help you if you tend to you know have pain or discomfort or anything in your joints um, arthritis or anything like that, that can be really nice to give you something a little bit bigger to hold on to. So I'm going to just set those things down here. Go ahead and let's roll on back onto the mat. And as you roll on back here, just get yourself in a space where you feel comfortable. So if when you roll back, you find that your head is kind of tipping back, like your chin is tipping up, your forehead is rolling back, Go ahead and place a little blanket or something underneath here. Nothing too high, just something that gives you enough lift that you can bring your chin back down into more of a neutral space and that your shoulders feel relaxed and like they can drop back toward the mat. So I want you just to kind of find that moment where you can kind of wiggle around, you know, be like the three-year-old, just wiggle, wiggle and get everything situated and then start to find a place where you can be comfortable and relax so even the knees falling together or out to the sides or you could straighten your legs if that feels better i like to keep the knees bent here to start just to let that low back kind of start to rest and relax when first arriving so i want you to start by taking a big deep breath in full body breath and then exhale slow So as your breath begins to deepen, imagine that the breath is flowing all the way into the back of your body. So in that back body breath, we feel the back of your body expanding. So that space kind of between where the bottom of your rib cage is down towards your sacrum or your pelvic space. I want you to really find that expansion. Like you could press into the floor, but not because you're physically kind of pushing to the floor, but because of the expansion of the rib cage, the expansion of the midsection. Softening the face, allowing the tongue to fall away from the teeth. Go ahead if your knees are bent and so we'll start to straighten the legs out. Just pushing the feet toward the end of the mat. Take a moment and just flex through the feet, pushing through the heels and then let them relax. Let the palms flip up toward the sky. So basically you're just resting here in a Shavasana or corpse posture. But as you breathe in, I want you to imagine that you could draw energy up through the feet. And that line of energy moves all the way up the legs, up the middle of your body, follows your spine, moves up through the throat, in between the eyes, all the way up to the crown of the head and like a rocket shooting out of the crown of the head. So it's just this line of energy. Think of this, give it a color if you like, and it moves up to the crown of the head and then shoots out. And as it splits in half, it circles back around your body, creating this beautiful little energy barrier around yourself. And then moves back in through your feet, all the way up, joins in the middle, up through the throat, through the center of the forehead, out the crown of the head, splitting in two again. And imagine this arc that rolls around each side of you and then meets back in the middle. So I want you just to kind of create this beautiful little energy barrier for yourself today. And it's not so much of a barrier. It's just this energetic feel that we're thinking of, like carrying around with us. What are you presenting out in the world today? And then place that inside of this energy, this like hemisphere that you have here. 
then go ahead with your next breath in. Start to bring the hands right up through center, placing them towards your chest. And then up through that same center line and reach toward the uh, wall behind you or over your head. Open up the arms and circle them around all the way down. So you're mimicking that same imaginary line of energy that you're creating. Bring it back to center. We might do the same thing if we were standing ready for sun salutations. Sweep up over the head and then separate the palms. Bring them all the way around. Take that next breath in as the palms meet. Inhale. Running right up through the center. Exhale it out. And then last time here, sweeping hands together, reaching up over the head, circling back around, exhaling, bringing palms together and pausing. So just resting your palms, palms together right at your chest. Bring those shoulders back and down. Elbows are slightly elevated. And then just reach the hands out to the side again and start to sweep them down as you lift your right knee and bring it in toward the chest. Switching sides. Inhale, just sweeping out. Exhale, bring left leg up. It's like you're taking a nice slow march here. Bring that knee up toward chest, releasing, inhale. Exhale, bring the right leg up. Inhale, sweeping, release the leg. Exhale, left knee moves toward chest. So you can just kind of hold on behind the leg if that feels good for you. And we'll do it again on each side. Drawing knee in, feel the beautiful little stretch there for the glutes into your low back. And then that left side moves up. And back down. Let's go ahead this time. Take that right knee and bring it in, holding it close to your chest. Okay, so holding on here. Relax the shoulders again. Just let them become soft. We'll circle the ankle out. Just rotating one direction and then the other, like you're drawing a circle with your big toe. And then just pausing here. I want you to push out through both feet. Deep breath in. Exhale, let the spine relax to the mat. Your rib cage is relaxing all the way behind you. Deep breath. And then go ahead and we're gonna start to take that foot up toward the sky, still holding on to the back of the leg, somewhere behind the leg. Bring the heel down. So I want you to keep your foot flexed. Inhale. And then exhale, take that heel up to the sky. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's sticking to your chest with the thigh. I just want you to kind of bend and straighten that knee a few times. Starting to awaken in the back of your leg, getting a stretch there for your hamstrings. Let's take one more time and press it up. Good. And then go ahead and we're gonna bring it back to center. So keeping your left leg more centered on your mat, Taking the right knee with your left hand, let that right arm drop out to the side. I want you to take a few little rocks and rolls side to side. It doesn't have to be a big twist. I just want you to move gently. Okay, exhale as you begin to rock to the left with your right knee. And inhale back to center. Two more times. Keep that bottom leg really active. So imagine it's like an axle, or axis that you're rotating on. Okay. And take it one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale brings you over to the left. Rocking all the way onto that left hip if you can. Just letting your right shoulder relax. I want you to let your right leg just drop to wherever it feels comfortable. If you feel like you need a prop here, go ahead and take a block. Or even your hand. You can just use your left hand underneath the leg like a little kickstand. Okay, so right there. I want you to now imagine on that right side waist that you could get a little more space between your ribs and your hips. So lengthen down on that right side waist, dropping your right hip further away from your shoulder, kicking the right foot out and then bending the knee. Inhale, exhale, kick, and then bend the knee. Two more times. 
kicking out like you're gonna push your foot into the wall across the room from you. And then one more time, kicking it out, bring it back in. Now rotating back to center and just pause here, taking your right foot to the floor, reposition your hips and slide it down the mat. So pushing out through both feet, inhale. As you exhale, draw left knee into the chest and we'll hold. You can interlace your fingers behind the leg. You can hold with a strap. If it's uncomfortable and you feel like you're kind of rounding your shoulders, go ahead and grab a strap or towel, something nearby, holding that leg, kicking the heel up to the sky and bring it back down. Inhale. Exhale, good, kicking that heel up, just nice and slow, very slow movement that you're focusing on the action and not just the motion. So think about the front of your leg contracting as you exhale, pushing out through that heel and one more time. Breathing, good, bring it back to center. Circle the ankle a few times, big circles with that big toe and the other direction. Now continuing from here, continue to flex through the foot. Bottom leg is also active and pushing out through the right heel. So I want you to move your right leg into the center line just a little more. Left arm relaxes out to the side. Right hand just holds on top of that knee. We're gonna inhale right here at center. Exhale, start to rotate to the right. It doesn't have to be big. Just start to work your way into that twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, I want you to feel the movement with your breath. Okay, so once again, it's not just about going in and out of a motion. I want you to think about breathing in, expand on the exhale, and you basically contract or you're kind of cinching in on the exhale. Exhale. Take this last one here, inhale, center. Exhale, we're gonna land over on that right side as far as you can. Once again, either a block propping your leg or your hand underneath. Take a couple of breaths while you're here. Push out through that right foot, right leg active as well. You're on the pinky toe side of that right leg. Inhale and then exhale, kick the left foot out and push it toward the wall that's across from you and then bend the knee, inhale. Exhale, push it out, and inhale, center. Exhale, kick two more, just like this. Just support the leg underneath the knee or underneath on the inner thigh. Last one, and you'll kick that leg out, pause, just straighten it as much as you can. And then again, on that left side waist, notice, just place your hand here for a moment and notice if you have created a little bit of a cinched in space between your ribs and hips, if it got smaller. And I want you to expand that space by pushing your left hip away from you. So away from the rib cage. And we feel maybe a little more stretch here down the hip when we do that, just depending on your body. Take another breath, push your left foot over to the right side. One more breath. And then we'll come back to center, bend the knee all the way back around, placing left foot on the floor. Now bringing that right foot back up, let's cross it over the left thigh and the knee is out. So lifting the legs here, I want you to float your left foot up to the sky. Flex the foot. Again, here, have your blank or your towels, your straps, anything. I'm gonna grab a strap. So if it's uncomfortable, if you are rounding your shoulders to reach up, I want you to reach up around somewhere up below your knee. So on that left leg, somewhere that's around your calf or your shin. So it's above the leg that's crossed over. Okay, and, and that might be a little cumbersome, so I want you to take that strap and just hold your leg or hold your foot and let it draw towards you. So you can hold the calf here with the strap even. So I just want you to hold on somewhere with an item or your hands. Elbows will be softly bent out to the sides 
and take a deep breath. Now, if you start to roll your hips up, so here my sacrum is lifting off the floor. I want you to bring it back down. Push your sacrum a little bit firmer toward the floor and then draw the legs towards you. Finding a very different stretch there. Okay, so let's take a couple more rounds of breath. Exhale it out. Last full breath. And now we're just going to switch that up a little bit. So release the hands from the leg and then slide your right hand through the triangle and so holding on to the same leg that you were, but now down lower on the hamstrings. So hands or strap threaded through the triangle with your right hand and then bending the left knee. Okay, so more of a traditional little figure four stretch. Okay, deep breath in. Keeping your sacrum pressed down, draw your legs towards you a little bit more. Just relax gently, let them move away from your chest slightly. Exhale, draw them in more. So we'll do a couple more here, just dynamic moves, dynamic stretching. Exhale, draw it in. Try to keep your right knee pushing away, feet are active. One more breath. Exhale it out. And then come back, release, and drop the left foot, but keep your right ankle crossed. All right, so keep that right ankle right where it is. Arms just slightly out to the sides again. Walk your left foot to the right side a couple of steps. Now your hips are gonna move with you. And now rock this whole leg situation over to the left. As you rock it to the left, try to allow the outside of that left thigh to rest on the floor or a propped up blanket if it doesn't come all the way down. Okay. You can hold the right ankle with your left hand if it's reachable or strap or something here for anchor. And then we're going to draw that right knee further away from you again. So I want you to push your ankle into the bottom leg. Use the leverage. Let this right knee open up. So it's moving toward the ceiling or the sky and away from you. So it's still the same figure four position, but we're reclining and twisted with it. Okay, so take one more breath. Exhale it out. And then coming back up and then releasing. So take that right foot to the floor, center your uh, hips again. And take your left ankle, cross it over. So we're in a basic figure four position first. We float the right foot off the floor and then straighten that leg up to the sky. Reach up above what looks like above your knee, but if you were standing, it would be below your knee. So somewhere around your calf or shin, one side might be more challenging than the other. All right, so if you need to on one side use a strap and the other side you didn't, it's okay. okay so this one, like my left knee gets in the way a little bit. This side's a little tighter for me. So I'm gonna take that strap and just let that be an extension of my hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it right there around the calf on this one. Go ahead and let that left knee open up as much as you can. Both feet are flexed and active, toes pulling back. Deep breath. Push your sacrum or your sacral space down toward the floor just a little bit, not to over arch in your ribs. Keep those ribs down and relaxed. One more breath. Exhale it out. Taking the next breath to release as you bend the knee and then sliding left hand through the triangle, holding onto the back of the leg into the hamstrings. Once again, we're going to just relax a little on the inhale. Just let the legs gently fall away, even if it's a very small amount. Okay, then exhale, draw them back in a little bit more energy from that bottom leg to the top leg. Inhale, relax. Exhale, drawing in by using the power of your bottom leg, not just your arms. The okay, arms are just here kind of helping guide. Two more. Exhale, drawing in one more. Inhale. Exhale. Out. Go ahead and let that right foot drop to the floor, keeping the ankle crossed over. Walk your right foot, little heel toe walk over to the left. 
Shift your hips slightly to the left and now twisting so that your right knee or right outer thigh rests on the floor. Left leg is pointing toward the sky and here's where you can use the leverage between your ankle and your bottom leg or your hand can hold the ankle as well or a strap. Okay, so I just want you to have some leverage there with that bottom leg. Inhale here, exhale, really push that knee away from you just with the energy of the external rotating muscles here on the outside of your hip. Just keep opening up that hip, waist is long. Use the leverage with the ankle on your leg. One more breath. Then slowly returning back to center. Go ahead and separate the feet on the mat. Position your hips back to center and just doing a very nice, gentle windshield wiper, side to side. Let's take a couple more rounds of breath, just moving freely. And then on the next round to the left side, just pause. Slide the knees a little closer together as you roll over onto that side, pressing yourself up and coming up into seated. Okay, so if you need to flip around or whatever you need to do, just find yourself back into seated in a way that feels good for you. So here, if you have a blanket, go ahead and you can take that to sit on, or if you have something you like to elevate your sit bones on to get a little bit more height, and especially if the back of your legs are a little tight, or your hips are a little tight. I'm gonna take a strap. Again, I'm gonna use my little scarf today. So start by taking left leg out to the side. So if you were making a V with your legs, they would be nice and wide, and then the right leg would pull back in. Always find the comfort level of your own body and your knees, your joints. So if you need a little extra support over here, take it. So if that knee's kind of hanging out in space and it doesn't feel good, give it some support. If you need to take it into a less flexed position, you can always just kind of rest it slightly bent on top of something. Okay, so we don't want to straighten it all the way out. So we're going to take the strap and just wrap that around the mounds of your toes. So this is nice and wide. That's one of the reasons I like it as well. So don't want to get it all the way down necessarily on my my focal point on that is not gonna be at the arch, but I'm gonna give it a little pressure right there at the top of the foot, and then push into it with the foot. Like I'm gonna push into a, a gas pedal, okay? Or like I'm trying to point my foot a little bit, but I'm pushing into it. So now rotating your chest around with your leg, so there's a little twist happening here. So rotating the center of your chest and the rib cage moves all the way around toward the left side, towards your foot. So I want you to think now about keeping both side waist equally as long again. And drop that left side back down. Inhale. Slide your hands back a bit so that you're not reaching too far forward. And then exhale, just hinging from your hips. Imagine that there was a full body cast all the way up to the crown of your head. And we can't allow the rounding or the moving forward of your head. So we're going to keep everything in line and just move from your hips. It does not matter how far that is. It could be less or more than I am. And then we're going to come back up. Okay, so dynamic movement here. Inhale, lift tall. Think about getting taller before you come forward. Exhale, gently pulling forward or drawing forward from the hips. And inhale, coming back up. Exhale, gently moving forward. Take two more, just like this. Inhale. And exhale. You're still aiming the center of your chest towards your toes. So we still have that bit of twist happening here. And then last one, coming forward and pausing. Wherever you land, I want you to pause. Okay, on that last exhale. And again, draw your chin down. So if you'll take your hands, spread your fingers out and place it on the back of your head or the back of your neck and notice if you're kind of creating a shortness in the back of your neck if your chin is lifting you're creating this shortness in the back of your neck i want you to spread those fingers out like a spacer and open up the back of your neck all right 
So now you know where that space is in the back of your neck and how that drew your chin down. Okay, now I want you to stay right there. So that should be about the size of a fist in the front of your front body. Okay. Fingers spread wide, full palm on the back body, a fist on the front body. Let's take a couple more rounds of breath while we're here. Breathe in deeply, back body breath, exhale it out. Last full breath. Now, as you come back up, I want you to pause about, you know, just about an angle's worth, right? So not all the way back here, but just a little bit of an angle if that's within your range of motion. And I want you to take your right hand and cross it over to the outside of your right leg. Or excuse me, your right hand to the left leg. That's where we are. So your right hand's gonna cross over over onto the outside of that leg. The other hand, left hand moves behind you slightly, lift up through your chest, get tall again, and then start to move your shoulders around a little bit further so that you're twisting a little deeper. Let's take another breath. If you feel like you would like to move forward into more flexion, you can slide that hand down and reach towards your heel. If that's not something that feels good to you, don't do it. Just stay where you are, lean back a little bit, and we'll come back around to center. Okay. All the way back up. As we switch sides, take that right leg out. Give it a little shake. It was bent for a while, so shake those legs out. Bring the left foot in. We're flexing, pushing out through the right heel. So once again, as you start to turn towards your foot, you can also shift your hips just a little bit. So if you want to move this right hip back a little, Okay, like we're drawing that a little deeper up into the socket. Go ahead and pull that back a little bit and then continue your twist. And I'll just lasso that foot with a strap. Inhale, get tall. Once again, find the space. And when you're sitting upright tall, you may find that you just kind of, you maybe do that a little more naturally, right? That, that neck stays pretty long. But notice what happens when you start to come forward. That chin wants to draw up in our back body. That back body just gets all tight and pulls everything down. So there I want you to really space out the back of that neck. Keep that space between chin and chest about the size of your fist. And then come back up. So try to imagine that you were wearing like a, a collar or a brace around your neck. Coming forward. Exhale. Inhale, coming back up. Let your arms relax. Okay, we're not putting a lot of energy into them. We're just holding here. Elbows can be slightly out. Relax into it. Inhale, start to notice where you feel the most stretch. It is for the hamstrings here, but we're also, we're twisting a bit. So we're getting some stretch back here in this low back space as well. Let's take two more. Inhale, lifting tall, even if your movement is very slow, very shallow even. Maybe it's just a couple of inches both directions, that's okay. Just go to where you can. And then on this last one, I want you to hold and then check back in with where you are with your neck and your alignment here. So pausing as you get your final deepest variation of your stretch, take a breath in, notice a little bit of lift and rise with your breath in and exhale allows you to fall a little deeper. Drop your chin a little bit towards your chest. Inhale. Fill up back body, exhale. Taking last big breath here. Starting to slide back up a bit. We're gonna take that left hand, cross it over to the outside somewhere. It can be above or below your knee. Take right hand, slide it back behind you slightly, and inhale, get lifted, get tall, lean back a bit, and rotate, pulling the right shoulder back. If you would like a little more of that flexion and deeper stretch in your lower back, you can always come forward, kind of moving yourself down, maybe even bending your elbow. But as you do that, just notice if you start to collapse into it. I want you lifted and pulled back. Take another breath. Come back up all the way. So as we take our fun toys out of the way for a moment, we're gonna come over onto tabletop or in tabletop. 
So if you'd like that blanket or cushion under your knees, let's take that. So with hands anchored right beneath the shoulders, inhale, exhale, start to lift up. But I want you to really think about lifting from the front body to the back body. So not using your glutes too much here. Okay, so just relax the glutes, inhale. And then exhale, scoop through the belly, pull the rib cage in and up and hollow out, round up. Pushing the floor away with your hands. We'll do two more here. Inhale. Exhale. Really lifting up. Taking that last round. Inhale. And exhale. And back to center. So we'll take the hands a little further forward, getting ready for down dog. So hands walk forward, toes turning under as you lift the knees and then press yourself back into downward facing dog. While you're here, if you wanna take that blanket off to the side, go ahead and move any props out of your way. We'll come back up as you walk the feet forward, come to the top of your mat and then slide the hands up just to the shins and rest there for a moment. Nice flat back, bring it back down. Inhale, start to sweep the arms out. I want you to come all the way up and down. So imagine again that energetic line of movement and movement and imaginary energy that you have around you. So it's not really so imaginary, it's really there. <laughs> but I want you to think about it, place it in your mind's eye. So we'll inhale, starting to sweep from bottom to top. So aiming your hands toward the floor, starting to lift up through the center of the body, reach up over the crown of the head and all the way around, just like you did when you were lying down. Inhale, hands come together. They start to lift up through the center and exhale all the way around. Once again, place your intention within this bubble of energy you have here. So whatever your intention is for your day, I want you to think about how you wanna show up. What are you going to show up and share with others today? Even if you don't leave your house, you can still show up and share with others. Maybe it's on social media, maybe it's just with your personal friends and family or whoever's maybe in your household. Inhale, take it up. It might be a stranger because you have to go to the store. Whatever it is, bring it out. Let's take that one more time. Inhale, sweep up. This time, start to hinge from the hips. Forward fold. Lift up halfway. Inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Start to slide the hands up with you as you lift up. Inhale. A little lift of your chest, but not too much of an arch. And exhale, come all the way down. Hands touching either blocks or the floor. Lifting up halfway. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, start to bring the hands together right up through center. We'll do this one more time, a little half salutation. Sweep those arms around. Inhale, sweeping up through center. Exhale, folding forward as you bring your arms out. Lifting up halfway. Exhale, back down. Now placing the hands toward the floor or your fingertips or blocks. I want you to step the left foot back. So as you step back, then we'll sweep the arm, lifting up all the way. We're gonna spin around toward the front. So if you need to reposition yourself, feel free to do so. Okay, so we're standing in a nice wide leg position. I'm gonna take blocks just as a show and tell situation here. So we're gonna take some blocks and you may or may not need them. So legs starting off very, very wide. I'm gonna place Blocks over on either side here by in front of the toes. So sliding over onto your left side, I want you just to lean into it, bend that knee, send your hip back. So my toes are all pointing to the front, the long edge of the mat, sitting the hips back. Weight is in your heel, but also in your big toe. So I want you to drop down as low as you can, and this is where the block can come in. Maybe you're holding the block here or down to the floor, dropping your hips back. We're gonna do that to the other side, over and sitting back. Good. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, over 
Now, if you feel like you want to touch the floor, if you're going down low enough and you want to take a hand to the floor, you could do this as well, or to a block. Come over, good. And now I want you to stay on this left side. Stay where you land, right here. Inhale, and if you need both blocks, you could always take them here to anchor you. So blocks or fingertips toward the floor. I want you to send your hips back so that knee is not going past your toes. It might be in line with them. And I want you to just straighten that leg. See, there's gonna be an angle. And then bend the knee. Push the hip back. So once again, it might, might be that you're holding on to a piece of furniture or you're holding on to blocks. So if your level of comfort needs a little assistance, go ahead and take that higher level. When you bend your knee, try not to bring it out here. I want you to take it, just send your hip back. Like you're gonna sit onto a little stool back here. You're stretching all through the inner thigh of the opposite leg, press it. Now hold here. I want you to turn your foot. So left foot will turn a bit toward, back toward the top of that mat, and we're folding forward. Yes, this other hip is open right now. So not quite a pyramid stretch, a little different. Still stretching into the hamstring. So hands can be on the blocks or on a piece of furniture. I'm just folding over that left leg. Let's walk it back around to center. Toes are turning. So remember to find your own variation of comfort. Dropping your right hip down. I'm gonna frame this leg a little bit. Inhale. And now straighten it out. So right now, all of the toes are pointing to the long edge of the mat, all pointing the same direction as your head. Inhale, coming down, but the hips go back. And then exhale, push. Good. Two more, inhale. I want you to anchor that opposite foot. So push down all the way from big toe to little toe and to the outer edge of your foot, as well as the inner part of your heel. Now, pause here. Turning your right foot, just pivot on the heel, turn the right foot, and we're folding over the right leg. So once again, that could be as high as you need it, as low as you like it. Deep breath, even out both of your side waist. So send that right hip way back there. So nice long side waist. Exhale, you might find this differently from side to side. We'll take two more rounds of breath. I want you to come back around to center. As you walk back around to center, we're going to just fold forward into that full wide leg forward bend. So once again, always adjust accordingly for yourself. If you need to be higher, use a piece of furniture or a wall. As you start to walk your hands forward again, just underneath the shoulders, it could be up to the fingertips or on the blocks. Heel toe the feet in, so draw your heels in first, and then your toes, and then your heels, and pause. So it should put us about in the right space, depending on how, leg, how wide your legs were. So they're not going to be even with your shoulders. So if you'll take a look, your knees are still out wide, you're kind of like a, a linebacker, that's what we usually say, right? <laughs> like, a, like a linebacker in football. Okay, so we're gonna send those hips back, almost like you're gonna sit down, but not quite. Bring the elbows along the insides. I want you to push into your legs with your elbows, not rest here like you're in the woods camping. <laughs> you're right here. <laughs> elbows are on the inside and you're pushing them apart with your elbows. There you go. Keeping those big toes on the floor, deep breath in. Exhale, scoop the belly, round it out just a little bit. Let's do that again. Inhale, drop your rib cage down. Inhale, exhale, round it up. One more breath. Inhale, exhale, round it up. And this time, continue the rest of the way up. Come all the way to standing and just continue now walking those heels back in. We're going to do standing balance and stretch for the front of the legs, and then we'll be back down to the mat. If you'd like to move near a wall or something stable to hold on to, that's on your right side. Okay, we're gonna lift that left foot up, reach back again, could be strap or hand, just lassoing that foot or ankle. 
and pull it back. Okay, so I'll turn. So if you're going to use something for stability, you'll just have your fingers on it over here and then pulling back. Bend the standing knee just a little bit. And as you pull your heel towards your glute, I want you to drop your knee down a little and then pull your hip points up a bit. Stretching in the front of that leg. Good. So you could balance or hold on, take another breath. Before you go anywhere, just soften that standing knee a little bit more and see if you can shoot your heel up behind you, moving into something like a variation of a dancer's pose. If you wanna bring that arm forward, just for good measure, and we'll bring it back down. Okay. Switching sides, same thing here. So you can hold on or just find your focal point. Toes are wide, so grab your your little tripod and foot here. So you're taking big toe, little toe out as far as it can. Push down into the toes and the mounds. Push into your heel. This is your little tripod that you're standing on. Okay. Bring that right heel back. Shoulders pull back. So I'm gonna to turn to the side to see. Now softening the standing knee, but do engage the muscles and then really draw your tail down, but not tuck and just lift those hip points up. Imagine you could just kind of pull the tip of your pubic bone up. Okay, so deep breath, find a focal point. Start to lift that heel up behind you. So push it into your hand a bit. And then bring that other arm forward if you want to test your balance a little more. Good. And bring it all back down very gracefully and drop that foot. Okay, let's make our way back down to the mat so we can move our toys again off to the side or items. Take a big sweep from down from bottom to top and reach up again. Exhale forward bend. Come halfway up. We'll step back. This time I want you just to land all the way on the mat. So coming down to the floor. We're going to work on just a few cobras and opening up the front body some more. Okay, so that we've got those hips and legs good. Please take your hands. This is not going to be like a really deep cobra necessarily, but it's going to depend on your body. So I want you to drop your pubic bone, that tip of your pubic bone down again. That's going to dial those hip points up a slight bit. That's going to also start to activate your glutes. So keep that little bit of activation here. Press into the tops of your feet. And I want you to take your feet the width of your mat or wider. But make sure your pinky toes are pushing down as well. Now with your hands about level with your shoulders, draw your shoulders back, elbows kind of open slightly out, and then a little lift. Bring it back down. Inhale. Not trying to overpower anything here. Exhale, make sure that pubic bone stays attached to the floor. Your legs are wide and your big pinky toes are down. So we want to create a little bit of internal rotation so as not to jam up that SI joint. Let's take two more. Lifting as much as you feel comfortable, but make sure those shoulders are down. The back of your neck still long. Take one more. And bring it down. Take a moment here, just let your arms rest to the sides, soft cactus arms, bend the knees and sway the feet. As you come back to center, lift yourself up, pressing back, take a moment for a child's pose. So as we meet one more time, let's sit back. And today, if you'd like to continue and have a reclining Shavasana, we kind of started there already, but if you want to end there as well and kind of make that your bookends for your practice, feel free to go ahead and recline. Otherwise, I'd like to just offer this kind of more seated, um, last centering space. So decide how you want to end. Wherever you are, go ahead, close your eyes. Allow your palms to rest Face up if that feels good for you. Let your mind just not become a blank canvas, so to speak, but just allow the mind to rest, knowing that there's no worries, 
nothing to be accomplished for the next few moments. Do notice if random things pop up, not necessarily your grocery list, but other random thoughts. This may be clues or information for you. As you stay here for the next several rounds of breath, Another offering would be to bring your palms close together in front of your heart space. And at first you may like to place your fingertips together, but then see if you can pull your hands apart just enough that you kind of feel this energy or this heat between the palms. Once again, you can give that, assign it a visual component. You can make it glittery, you can make it shiny, you can make it a color. So within this space that you're holding, let that be the space that you hold in the world. How you show up, how you bring yourself into a room or how you show up for other people. Always come back to this space. It's here to provide you stability provide you comfort, keep you grounded, and following that energy, just take a moment as you start to allow the palms to maybe pull the part just a little bit more. As you sweep the palms forward, and kind of push that energy out there, let it move out into the world, sweeping the arms up overhead circling back around and then as you've put it out there so putting it out into the world and receiving it back as you sweep your hands back to center one more time again inhale open the palms outward reach up so putting it out and receiving back to center last time pausing palms together this time to seal your practice as you bow so thank you for showing up, for being here, and continuing to show up for others. Namaste.